So, hey guys! Today, right now, we're going to solve a problem on superposition principle, mainly on squares. So, since this is a square, the distance between the four cute, some cute objects is the same, which is 5 meters. While the value of our, or the charges of our cute objects are as follows. Ta-da! So, the charge of A, which is a swan, is a positive 7 times 10 to the negative 6. For B, which is... that's also a positive, that's positive 2 times 10 to the, to the power of the negative 6. And then for C, which is a negative, that's negative 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And D, which is also a negative, that's negative 5 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So I'm so sorry nga wana ko nabutang ag signs, but yeah, you get it. So the thing here is that, to, you know, to make things more easier explaining this, what we're going to find is the forces or the resultant force acting on B, or this cute blue narwhal. So... Para makana to ang mga forces, since A is positive and B here is also positive, there, um, the force that A is going to apply on B is a pushing force. So, we can denote that pushing force by this one. So, the reason na din natin siya gipot kay si Swan man ang nag-exert. So, yeah, siya may nag-push away. So, the direction to that is to the right. And then, for letter C, letter C is negative while B is positive. Therefore, it's an attraction force. And we can do the... Ako, ako rabi tawa ni. So, like, yeah, if you wanna follow, I don't mind. Ano siya? Um, this denotes an attraction force. Dire gyapon gikan. And the reason why I placed it near to C or near to the ball is because si ball may nagkoan exert. And this arrow is basically, well, attraction. It's going towards the ball. So it's pulling the narwhal to itself. And the same goes for letter D or the scotch tape, the packaging tape right here because packaging tape is negatively charged while the B is positively charged. So, it's also going to exert an attractive force as such. So, like, the reason for me nga mo na siya ko mag-use na arrows kaya pwede ko yung maglibog. So, like, who's pushing who and who's pulling who because that's very confusing. So, um, as a recap, we know that the formula of... I lost my formula. We know that the formula of force, finding force, is F is equivalent to K Q1 Q2 over the distance squared. Okay, that's absolute volume. And then, we also know that the volume of K is equivalent to 9 times 10 to the 9. <laughs> so sorry there so knowing that guy we can solve for the following forces for first um, let me put this here there okay so first guy we're going to solve for the force of a on b now we know man the nine that's nine times ten to the nine and then here, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 is the value of QB. Okay, that's A on B, man. And then 7 times 10 to the negative 6, that's the charge of A. So for that, once you solve all that in the calculator, you get an answer of 5.4 times 10 to the negative 3 on the right direction. Why on the right direction? Because balik ta here, ang force na yung exert kay pushing, and that pushing force is towards the right. So that's how we got the right. Next, kay C on B. 
Now, if you notice, ang ato ang radius sa C on B is not 5 squared, but instead square root of 50 squared. Hanuman. Because going back here, C to B is a hypotenuse. So, what we did here is. Chatan. There. Since ang legs ni koan sa hypotenuse is 5 and 5, we could just radius is equivalent to 5 squared plus 5 squared. Square root of all that, that's square root of 50. So, mana siyang value sa r. And r, imo nang is square. So, that's basically dividing everything by 50. And the answer to that is. Charan. 1.44 times 10 to the power of negative 3 downwards left. Why? Because it's an attraction force man. That means the force ni yang exert kay padung down and left. There. So next is the force exerted by D on B. So values, 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 values. So again, B is 2 times 10 to the, to the power of negative 6. And D is 5 times 10 to the power of negative 6. If we do the math, guy, this is the answer. Chadan. So once na so now na na natay mga koan forces or electrical forces, we can now put it on a table. Kai um in order to find the resultant force, we have to add up all the x and y forces or the x and y components kay the resultant force could be diagonal man so if it's a diagonal then it has to have x and y components so let's move on to the table okay okay there so here so here we have the force of a on b as we have calculated a while ago, kai that's 5.04 times 10 to the negative 3. Now that is an x value alone. Kai, the force of A on B is paana arman siya. So that's just an x. Wala siya y nga component. That's why that's just 5.4930. Positive because it's going to the right. And si C on B. Well, this one, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay. C on B is a diagonal. It's a hypotenuse. So, we calculated it man, diba, as 1.44 times 10 to the negative 3. Now, the thing about squares, man, good, okay, it's hypotenuse will always have an angle of 45 degrees. Okay, mahaf man ang circle. Eh, I'm half man ang square. So that's like 45 degrees. Mona, ang atong gikuan here kay the value of Fe cosine 45. So that's negative 1.02 times 10 to the negative 3. And ang niyahang y value, kay, instead of using cosine, we're using sine. And basically, it has the same answer. So D on B. D on B is. D on B is pa vertical. So, wala siya x na value. But, ang iyahang koan, y nga value, kay katong ato na-calculate a while ago, negative 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3. It's negative kay going down man siya. An attractive force. So, going down. And then, once we have all those values for x and y, the thing with the resultant force kay pwede na to na siya ma-add up. So that's positive 5.04, etc. minus or plus negative 1.02. So ang answer ato ana is positive 4.02 times 10 to the negative 3 going right. Okay, positive man ang dominant. And then for the other side here, that's negative 1.02 plus negative 3.6, etc. Ang answer kay negative 4.62 times 10 to the negative 3 downwards. Kay dominant kay negative man ang answer so it's going down and kana siya x and y component na siya sa koan resultant force we still have to look for the resultant force and 
that is through the Pythagorean theorem. So, according to the Koan Pythagorean theorem, fr is equivalent to the square root of the square of fx and the square of fy. There, it's plus. So, once ma solve na to na, I will get an answer of, if you plug that in, kaya it's 6.12 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons. Mana iyang force. But boys and girls are not done yet. 